So this pair of shoes guys got originally released about 5 or 6 years ago if I'm not mistaken. But in today's video we're gonna have a look at a slightly revised version of it. subscribe you can also give me a follow on instagram to see exactly what i'm gonna do in the next few days in today's video guys uh, we're gonna have a look at a pair of uh, boots which is coming from nike so let's go ahead and take them out of the box which as you can see will come in your usual box in this uh, red color which will have this uh, nike swoosh and the lettering uh, in this white color here at the top so let's go ahead and take them out guys so in today's video we're gonna have a look at this slightly revised version of the Nike SFB 6 inches. guys uh, this one got uh, released about uh, five to six years ago and at the time uh, we actually had uh, quite a few colors but uh, the design was uh, slightly a bit different that one just had this uh, suede which was combined with some canvas here at the back but as you can see guys uh, for 2022 we're gonna have a slightly revised uh, design which will have some new uh, elements and some new materials at least uh, for the back part of the shoe so this one actually got released on the sneakers app last month the retail price for this one guys was and still is 135 pounds and this one you can still find it on the normal nike website so we're gonna have this brown to moss color and we're also gonna have them in black as well so according to nike guys this is the first time when nike uh, has a sneaker boot which will bring a weather resistant leather and a very rugged traction pattern so let's go ahead and also do a breakdown of this one guys so as you can see for the upper we're gonna have mainly two materials one of it will be this nubak material which will cover the full uh, front part of the shoe uh, but uh, this material guys will also be present uh, here at the leasing system we're also gonna have it uh, covering the whole uh, heel section uh, as well and we're also gonna have it uh, here uh, finishing this uh, color here at the ankle section so apparently guys this uh, leather it's actually uh, treated and uh, will uh, repel slightly but i guess not too much uh, uh, the rain and in my opinion guys uh, this one looks a lot with the timberland versions which we have them now on the market so as you go now uh, to the lacing system guys you can see that we're gonna have these uh, metallic eyelets which will keep in place this uh, very thin uh, round laces in this uh, same color as the rest of the shoe so we're gonna have uh, four uh, metallic eyelets for each side but as you can see at the top we're gonna have this uh, which uh, usually you get it uh, in the normal boots of course underneath these laces guys uh, we're gonna have this uh, nylon tongue uh, which as you can see towards the end of it we also have this uh, very nice uh, tag with the nike swoosh and the lettering and we're also gonna have some other writing so uh, this uh, tongue guys uh, will also have a good amount of padding underneath but don't expect too much but as you go now uh, towards the back of the shoe guys you can see that uh, we're gonna have a different material to the original uh, sfb released a few years ago so for that one we actually had a canvas material which was slightly a bit stiffer this time we're gonna have this nylon material which will be the same as the one used here at the tongue and also guys uh, just above the heel section you can see that we're gonna have this very interesting uh, pull tab and as we go inside guys you can see that for this one we're gonna have a very interesting lining which will also have some uh, a silver reflective uh, material underneath 
So this uh, whole uh, back part of the shoe guys, it doesn't actually have uh, too much padding. It will just have uh, here towards the top of the ankle section. And of course guys, at the bottom, uh, we're also gonna have a foam insole, which to be honest, uh, it feels to be uh, a bit uh, thicker than your normal uh, uh, insoles. So this one I really felt that uh, it's giving a very good level of comfort. One thing that I actually forgot to mention guys is that uh, we're gonna have uh, on the lateral side of this uh, heel section press down this Nike swoosh. Another thing guys is that we're gonna have these uh, two metallic uh, pins on the medial side. And now guys uh, we can go to this uh, injected uh, phylum midsole which as you can see guys uh, will be the same as uh, the one used for the Nike Free Run which we had them uh, released uh, over the last few years. So uh, this one guys uh, it's actually quite uh, comfortable, it doesn't feel that uh, it's gonna give you a very good uh, level of comfort. But for my surprise, uh, this one is actually quite good. And now guys, uh, we can go to this uh, rubber outsole, which will have an aggressive uh, traction pattern. And this one guys uh, will actually feature uh, two types of rubber. So as you can see here at the front, uh, we're gonna have this uh, 004 sticky rubber. But uh, for the heel section guys, we're gonna have this uh, 068 uh, hard rubber. And rather than that guys, as you can see, this one will have an interesting pattern, which will be slightly a bit different than your normal free runs. But I guess as this one is gonna be a boot, uh, you will need to have a better traction. As in for the actual uh, sizing guys, uh, for this one I decided to go with my true to size. And for me as I have a skinny fit, this one fits me just fine and I guess it will be roughly the same for people with normal feet. But just in case you have wider feet guys, I would suggest you to go with a half size up just to make sure that this uh, front part of the shoe is not gonna be too snug for you. So overall guys, uh, this uh, slightly update for this uh, Nike SFB, in my opinion, it's uh, still a very good option out there. And I would say that for the price guys, we are actually getting uh, quite uh, good materials. I really like this uh, Nobok uh, material, which as you can see, it's very buttery. And of course, being combined with this uh, nylon material guys, uh, I actually feel that uh, this uh, one is actually quite a good one. So uh, yeah guys, uh, this was my unboxing and reviewing of this uh, slight update of the Nike SFB uh, 6 inches. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, uh, don't forget to press the like button, maybe also subscribe to the channel. You can also give me a follow on Instagram to see exactly what I'm gonna review in the next few days. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.